Veronica doesn't fit in at her new school, to say the least. There are no vegan options on the breakfast menu and no mention in history class of how the Salem witch trials were rooted in misogyny and oppression. Miss Genevieve wants her brought in line, and her hair appropriately styled, as soon as possible, which prompts a hasty escape attempt and a quick allyship with Blair, a fellow student who has been planning an escape attempt of her own and takes Veronica to see the haircut process for herself, which takes place in a lab rather than a salon. It's brainwashing, essentially, but it doesn't work on Claire, since she has a metal plate in her head after a skateboarding accident in her youth. Claire has a sister named Mary who has succumbed to the brainwashing, which is why she remains behind at the school. The parents don't seem to have any idea what's going on there, but they don't seem to be questioning it much either, which isn't exactly a well-hidden point about wealthy parents who ship their offspring off to special schools rather than having to deal with them. The next day, Claire has been brainwashed, the plate in her head having been discovered in a kind of hand wavy, don't worry about it, way. This leaves Veronica without allies, and suddenly seeing the allure of not having to care about anything. But it doesn't last long, since a window of opportunity presents itself in Heather, her roommate. As it turns out, music instantly undoes the brainwashing, so Veronica's little speaker, blasting pop rock snaps Heather right out of it. And then Heather playing the music through the school's intercom system snaps everyone out of it. The girls are free, and there's an immediate uprising. 